We do want to tell you about a developing story we're watching out of Akron tonight. One child is dead, another is in critical condition after a crash during a funeral procession. The story is, it's complicated, let's say. Bree Buckley is live from the scene. I know that the accident happened yesterday, but this thing has been developing all day. What do you know, Bree? Yeah, it has, Christy. I mean, yesterday it was chaos here after that scene when a funeral procession turned into a deadly crash and then a shooting after that. The community here mourning, starting a memorial for 12-year-old Tymar Allen. This all happened just before 3 Thursday afternoon in East Akron on Arlington near 6th. Police say multiple cars were driving erratically in the procession, swerving with people hanging out the window. Two cars crashed and one boy was ejected from the car, the other partially ejected. The two boys are related but aren't siblings. One's mom was driving the car they were in. The other driver took off from the scene, but police were able to find and talk with him last night. Now, after the crash, police say shots were fired near the cars after a fight. Then less than a block away, more shots were fired, but no injuries were reported from that. A 19-year-old man did show up at a local hospital with a gunshot wound, but is expected to be okay. I've been talking with family members, and they say there's a fake GoFundMe account circulating that they did not start and say it's so unfortunate someone would go do something like this while they are grieving. As of right now, no charges have been filed and police are still working to figure out who shot, who fired what shots and what caused the deadly crash. Now, if charges are filed, that's expect to happen next week. How can police say if you saw anything or heard anything, they want to hear from you to hopefully solve this case. Yeah, any little thing that somebody might be able to, to glean from this can help. Bree, thank you so much. Great job.